All right, welcome back. It's still Galaxy today, this beautiful Wednesday or Tuesday morning. Why am I going to tomorrow? I think I'm just waiting for the weekend already. For the week to run out. All right, Pat, good morning <laughs> Good morning to you, to you Justin. Mm. Thanks for holding forth yeah. again. How are you doing all today? Right. I'm all right. I'm great. Mm. I'm good. Mm. Welcome. Yeah. All right. Uh, today's topic is one I'm very, very much interested in because mm. it affects me as a citizen of Nigeria, yes, plus I live in Lagos mm. and there are so many issues, you know, that us Lagosians, are, uh, we are looking for an avenue to vent. to vent. So this might just be the platform. All right, we're looking at infrastructural development as a catalyst for economic growth. And uh, it is a privilege and an honor to have the Honorable Commissioner, Ministry of Works and Infrastructure, with us on the program today, in person of engineer Ganil Johnson. Thank you very much, sir, for coming on the show. Thank you. All right, sir. Also, we have a friend of the show with us. He's a human rights activist, and I like to describe him as one who is quite articulate and he knows what he is saying. And I hope he will be on the side of the masses on this program today. It's a pleasure to have Mr. Debo Adeniro on the program. Good morning, sir. Good morning. It's my pleasure being with you. Welcome, gentlemen. All right, don't forget that it's an interactive program and you can interact with us via our social media portals on Twitter is at Galaxy Today Live, Facebook is www.facebook.com forward slash Galaxy TV. Yeah, it's a mouthful. <laughs> and you can drop an SMS on the number 08 Alright, so um, I'd like to start with this. Um, Oftentimes we've heard Lagos being described as a mega city, mega city. And in terms of infrastructure, uh, people assume that Lagos has sort of found the formula, you know, and all of that. But then what is uh, really the justification, you know, of the Lagos State Administration, you know, to actually make us believe in totality that assertion that Lagos is indeed a mega city? Yeah, it's not Lagos State per se, it's the population. Any any city that has a population of over one uh, ten, 10 million, million. people mm. is assumed to be to a mega city. city. Right. Mm. Now what Lagos st State Government is doing mm. is to ensure that um, we are able to develop, you know, and sustain the existing infrastructure to support mm. that population. You see that our population is about 22, 23 million. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why the city is now seen as a construction city. Continuously, we are improving on infrastructure to support that growing uh, uh, population. You know, because if nothing is done, I mean, everybody will be stranded. Mm -hmm. So that's the. That's why we are continuously working on the expansion, uh, rehabilitation, maintenance, and reconstruction of the existing mm. infrastructure. Mm. Okay, fine, Debo, let me um, throw the next question um, right at you this morning. Although we're gonna take it from state to state, but let me start specifically with Lagos State. This is where we are presently. A whole lot of ongoing projects are on. Uh, we are all aware of the the lighting project, Light Up Lagos project, mm -hmm. and the um, Atlantic City and all of that. If you were to analyze uh, Lagos being a mega city as it were the, over the population that we have right now and the infrastructure that we have, would you say somehow that Lagos seems to be getting it right in your opinion? Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, uh, if you look back yeah. at the history between uh, 1999 and now, there was uh, a lull in the development of Lagos in the last eight years. A lot of people will want to take the contrary opinion. Mm. I'm sure, I'm even happy that Engineer Johnson, uh, Johnson is here. Um, he was part of government even in the past eight years. Mm. You know, he has the always been there. And that is why you should make him answer question on the last eight years. <laughs> I've done two books. Okay. Yeah. Lagos Open Parliament, you know, where we examine, we did a study on the, if, uh, the way Lagosians are satisfied by the infrastructural development within the fascia days. Yes, correctly, any city that has up to 10 million human beings is 
I mean, it's deemed to be a mega city. city. It is not about aesthetics. It is not about how beautiful a state is. The job of a responsible government is to develop, as you mentioned, that expand the existing infrastructure to accommodate the mega population that makes it a mega city. Mm. Now, what happened in the past was that the city was being depopulated. The truth is that the infrastructure development in Lagos during the fascia days, I'm sorry I mentioned those mm -hmm. names, okay, was far below expectation, was far below what was projected. Mm -hmm. And the regime over advertised what it didn't do. The, the housing scheme, those that are existing are too expensive for the mega population because within the mega population, you have up to 90% of them living below poverty line, hmm. less than $2 a day. Hmm. Okay, so the, the, the development of infrastructure is supposed to be centered around this mega poverty. Mega poverty. Me mega poverty is ravaging Lagosians. Hmm. And now the point is that businesses are not encouraged to grow. Housing scheme is beyond the reach of a common person. Education is far above until the people force the hands of the government backwards. Most schools in Lagos, even as at now, that where when the present regime resumed, it started in a new, I mean, with a new dimension, mm -hmm. with a new approach to the development of the state. Mm -hmm. We have commended the present regime. Please mm -hmm. take note of that. But then. We needed, because it's same or same, government is continuing. So all along, up to now, they have not been able to fix all the dilapidated schools. The hospitals, they say they were equipped. I tell you that the dialysis, the, uh, what do they call it? Dialysis uh, machine that is at Dagada Hospital, functioning, but no expert to manage it. Hmm. They have only one expert in the whole of Lagos State. The shovels. Now, and so shovels mm -hmm. land. So somebody died uh, about uh, three or four weeks ago, waiting for the consultant to come, even when he has been dilated since morning. Hmm. Now, the same thing with uh, those who mend bones. I forgot the name they call them. Uh, okay, somebody, a, a school puppy right. fell and broke the two hands. Wow. They have to reset and set that again because they do not have enough experts. Hmm. That was about uh, three or four years ago. They reported this into our office. So. They, when you go to schools, especially what they call model colleges, I mm. hope they will remodel the model colleges now. <laughs> go there, okay? The roofs are bad. The floors are broken. The furniture is nothing to be written about, I mean, mm. to write home about. Go to the drainages, the, the drainage system. The, the, the gutter, the drainage channels are either too shallow or too narrow for the volume of flood that will have to flow through them. And what result is mega flooding. Okay, sir, let then me, let, 